Now, it's a difficult and sensitive subject to broach, but when a loved one dies, there are generally only two options, cremation or burial. But now a couple who are funeral directors in Devon want to become the first in the country to use new technology to offer a third option. Claire and Rupert Callender from Totnes want to use a process called resumation, where water and an alkaline solution are used to dissolve the body. Sophie Pierce reports. Rupert and Claire call this the ancestor's fire. They hold ceremonies around it for bereaved families who come to lay their loved ones to rest in this burial ground. I think we should uh, dedicate this fire to Anna, who died on Midsummer's Day two years ago. At the moment, all funeral directors can offer families is burial or cremation. Now, though, Rupert and Claire want to be the first to offer a new type of technology. It's called alkaline hydrolysis, and it um, uses so much less energy than cremation, and it is basically where the body is put into a big um, pressurised steel container with water and an alkaline solution and left there for a few hours. It's um, really a technology which has been used for millennia. Um, behind me is the dart, and all up and down the dart are lime kilns. Uh, and lime was used to fertilise these fields for um, thousands of years. This process is essentially a slightly technologically tweaked version of that. At the end, the skeleton remains and is turned into ashes to be kept by the family. The other byproduct is liquid. The technology is made by a British firm, which wants to allay fears that people's remains could end up being washed away. There's absolutely um, no DNA in the liquid. It's simply chemicals. And it will go to, eventually go to the river, out to the sea, up as clouds and come down as rain. The hydrological cycle, similar to all the other processes. It's already in use in America, where this funeral home in Florida was the first to take it up. And it's claimed to be greener and gentler than cremation. Back in the UK, no one is yet offering it. Although it's not illegal, it's unregulated, so there are some hurdles to overcome. The calendars hope to be the first in the UK to offer the process. The technology is there in the, which we can redesign the entire way of doing it, our entire way of dealing with our dead. 50,000 of us die every year, and the way we deal with our loved ones hasn't changed in a century. Perhaps now may be the time. Sophie Pierce, BBC Spotlight, Sharpham.